at number one, Chris has. Do the same. We can press reset. Oh, come on. I apologize. For it. <laughs> yeah. 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 Man, it was like it's like living my life. <laughs> You know what this meant to me? Like you guys had Black Panther, right? But you know, I we, I had the middle-aged chubby white man, and I get to live through Russell Crowe, who's just getting full of rage. Hey everyone, support our Patreon, which helps us to continue bringing you our live streams, videos, and podcasts while bringing you new content such as exclusive live streams and animated shorts. <laughs> All right. Well, let's go to your list, Martin, over here. And, you know, you've already talked about some of the things that we talked about, which is why I was yeah, telling you Yeah, yeah, you and I have a lot of overlap. Yeah, and that's why I was saying. Especially as you get toward the top. Yeah, I was saying, go ahead and talk about those things as we go along. You can still mention those things. Sure. But, you know, really elaborate on some of the things that we, that, uh, that, that, that is not on my list mm-hmm. that we don't have in common right here. And let me go ahead and start out with your number Ten movie, Martin. Do you remember what it is? I'll tell people. I'll I, show real quick. Do you I think remember it's what it is? Always, sometimes. I just said I'll tell people. <laughs> oh, okay. Sorry, <laughs> but no. Go ahead, and finish now. No, no, no. You have it because I, I, I get it mixed up. But always, sometimes, rarely, never. Oh, is that get 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 it no, wrong? Oh, Martin. Never, rarely, sometimes, always. Oh, I had it backwards. <laughs> which is you trying to say it? We're <laughs> <laughs> going to New York. Where's the rest of the money? La, la, la. Oh, Martin, this looks sad. What is? It's not, but it's it's a very stripped down movie. That's a straightforward tale of a girl, teenage girl from Pennsylvania who gets pregnant and has to go to New York to get an abortion. This is this is typical of what a girl like this would have to go through and the different things. Yeah, and, you know, and just just what, what, what kind of a hassle it is and 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 all and. You know, it's done, like this for a while. In the beginning, you're like, "All right, what, what is this?" And then it, it kind of dawns on you. It's like, "Oh wow, this is this is kind of powerful." I'm glad somebody showed this. Well, Martin, let's go to your number nine movie. Sweet Mary Jane is my vice. You ought to consider an offer. He's like, ooh, you gonna let him talk to you like that? <laughs> <laughs> Martin, what is this? This is The Gentleman. Yes, Guy Ritchie movie. Is Guy Ritchie back doing what we like for Guy Ritchie to do and doing it well? Because even Guy Ritchie had seemed to kind of burn out on doing his own thing. Yeah. It's, a, it's a complex story with lots of different colorful gangsters, not always gangsters, uh, and all these different moving parts that are all fun, that all work to like, how's this going to come together? And then it does. This is, this is uh, I mean, it's not just a fun movie, but it's just well choreographed uh, in, in every way. And it's, an, it's another movie that's, that, that has great dialogue in it. All right, Martin. Let's go to um, your number eight movie, which Martin has some overlap with mm. me. That didn't work. <laughs> Let's waste some time. And that would be Palm Springs, which was on my list. Mm-hmm. Uh, uh, you know, it, it, since Groundhog's Day, there's been a number of movies that have tried to do that thing. Mm-hmm. And every time you watch me, like, yeah, Groundhog's Day. We've already seen it. the best this can be. And this is the first movie I can think of since Groundhog's, Groundhog's Day to actually do it and add new things and make it fresh and make it a, okay, now I want to see this again. No overlap this time, a little something different to keep mm-hmm. people on their toes. Your number seven movie is. Now, where to begin? Which leads me on to the second thing you need to know. Anola Holmes. Yes, and this movie is way feminist without being annoyingly so. It's, it's, a, it's a very smart movie. It's, it's fun, it's put together. This, is, this mm-hmm. is the first, one of the first movies I saw on a streaming service where I went, shit. This should have been in the theater. Yeah, I, I could I could stand to see a whole lot more of these. All right, Martin. Let's see. Winding it down, winding it down, Martin. Let's get to uh, your number six movie. Probably just gonna be Scrabble with your list. <laughs> this uh, virus or the Democrat? 
Democrats. Demo- oh, Martin. <laughs> <laughs> Back in overlap country here, Martin. I know. Martin. I know. I, I, we, we might be there for a while. <laughs> <laughs> Just as I was watching your Makes list, it easy like, for me to like yeah. control like, things. Oh, God damn it. Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, once again, it's something you touched on is that after the original Borat film, it wasn't just a, man, there's no way he can do this again. But, you know, after Bruno and some of the other Sasha Baron Cohen movies like The Dictator, it was just that feeling of like, oh, man, he's going to ruin this. And surprisingly, no. I mean, yeah. it might not be as funny as the first Borat film, but it, it still hits. And for me, this was one where with the first Borat film, the, the scripted parts weren't at all that funny. Here, I thought they were a lot funnier. So that's, that's what made it work. Move it down here. Let's move on to your number five film. It would be impossible for me to care any less what you are tired of. Yeah. Well, you ain't got to be that way about Mars. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. It's <laughs> He can have his opinion. <laughs> no, the tri- <laughs> tri- <laughs> trial of the Chicago 7. <laughs> I don't have much more to say about this than you did, mm-hmm. other than that, you know, they take something that could have easily have been a lot more heavy handed and somber and make it entertaining to where, wow, you're really keeping me caring about this the whole time. Oh, wind it down, Martin, your number four movie. These records are gonna be hits. Every colored man in the world got to do his part. I'm gonna tell the white man just what he can do. Yeah, Chris. Yeah. As you all know, I represent all white yeah. people. Black Panther's right. <laughs> nah, man, that is uh, again Ma Rainey's Black Bottom. Yes, and I, of course, I I love, love, love stage plays, and th- uh, this is is it, it's one of those great successful experiments of bringing a play to the movies but making it feel like a movie. Uh, it also does a great job of taking characters that you might find detestable only to later go, oh, well now you say that, I totally get where you're coming yeah, from. Yeah. And vice versa. Well, you're not going to have to guess, at least about this movie, what his number one movie is. You're not going to have to think that we're the same because <laughs> your number one is, uh, I'm, I'm sorry, my number one is way different from yours. Mm. They ain't giving black people what they really want. What's that? Hey. Power. I like the sound of that. <laughs> one Night in Miami is your number three movie. Yes, yes. Uh, and for all the reasons you made it your number one, it 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 had been my number one for a while. Like I said, it's just been kind of a shell game. And you caught me at a moment when I went, all right, I'm going to put it at number three. It's not just how well the movie is directed and written, but to get these performances from these actors who really brought to life <laughs> these real life people. And as much as you, you know, you, we don't know what their conversation was that night, you, you, you wish it was something like this. That'll keep people guessing what your number one movie is, mm-hmm. which we're working our way towards right now. Yeah. Before we get to that, you gotta stop at number two, and your number two movie, Martin, is. To the moment I fall asleep at night. How many times we gotta watch his brother? Die? I know. <laughs> you, but you have your hand in the trailer. Well, I put it on. It always be that clip. I put it on a different spot because you saw the lead up to it early was different. I was like, damn. <laughs> Tired of this. Yeah. But uh, yeah, you're number two. And honestly, number two and three are are pretty much a tie. I, I almost couldn't decide between the two of them. I teared up several times watching it, but it just. I think for anyone you go into it and it's just being so existential it just makes you think about life and think about it again and um it's a it's a lot to digest but in a very pleasant way and it goes existential without lecturing which so many other movies and little documentaries i've seen do and martin number one movie is da 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 All right, there you go, Martin. Why yeah. number one? Uh, I've seen this three times, and I cry at the end every time. I know it's coming, and it still gets me. Uh, but every one of these performances just resonate in my heart, and it's watching it is just I can't believe they were able to pull this off. And and I'm sure actually seeing it live in person is still better. But this is powerful as it is, and uh, 
Yeah, a, the, the other things were up at number one and two, and then I was like, oh wait, this actually qualifies. Okay, well then, Hamilton's number one. All right, and plus you love stage plays. You, that I do. You have, you have one honorable mention right here. Yeah, and I, put, I probably would have put more, but I, yeah. that one I, I, you know, it was at the top. That's fine. All right. Well, let's see what your, your number 11 honorable mention is. Let's go. But the sky's on fire. Two days. We're just trying to get to safety. Clock the asteroid. <laughs> Uh, Greenland, as they named it later. Yeah, there's no way this movie should have been good. <laughs> Gerard Butler in another end of the world movie. Come on, man. And yet somehow, wow. Talk about getting sucked along with it. And an end of the world movie that wasn't like, but it's really Corona, huh? Huh? The virus. Like, no, this is something else. And just the portrayal of how people, you know, would likely react in something <laughs> like this. I know. <laughs> I love, I love that you're talking that way, know, and then we I know, see that. I know, I know. <laughs> this isn't your typical disaster. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and some of that would seem extreme if we hadn't had people refusing to wear masks. Fair enough. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Here's Martin's uh, top <clears throat> 10 favorite movies of 2020. So far. So far. And now we're going to really get into some interesting territory. Well, we had a lot of overlap, well, my, myself and Martin over here. I haven't seen as many films as you guys, so I, was, I, was, I, was, I, I didn't have many straws to pull at. <laughs> but it makes, it makes for a very interesting list that you It'll be you good have. talk, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It makes for a very interesting list that you... <laughs> he says through gritted teeth. I know, man. I, I, really, I like your list. <laughs> yeah, I fucking like it. It's cool. Uh, yeah. <laughs> that was bullshit, but you know, I like like, Some of y'all were looking at Martin's number one and saying, what? Wait a minute, but when do you see <laughs> Chris's number 10 right here? Oh, 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 come on. It's almost, it's almost like, it, like it creeped in on That's me. Here's my list, guys. Hey, guys. My list is here. He's like, yo, hey, y'all. I'm Chris's, Chris's list. <laughs> Man, you're not going to take this seriously. We might as well stop. <laughs> Listen, is there any movie, uh, is there any other movie this year has made you laugh more than this one? No, you know no, what? I'm it's right. so funny. I'm it's right, the greatest man, comedy I'm, this I'm, year. Maybe the crude but that's hey, about it. Listen, listen I, people, we are talking about, <laughs> as you can tell by Mr. Ashtray bitch right here, we're talking about Fall from Grace. Yes. Hey. Hey. These are beautiful. So are you. Thank you. That's Chris giving us the list. Yeah, I got it. Here you go, Corey. That's my present. <laughs> tell me something. I mean, I know you've had many. Damn, young you're right. Those wigs change <laughs> from scene to scene. It was different wigs, totally different hairstyles. Oh uh, no, man! The thing that that makes this so much fun to watch—it's a bad movie, uh -huh. no doubt about it—but oh, yeah. because it's Tyler Perry and he's so earnest and he thinks that he made the best drama you've ever seen. <laughs> Laugh out loud mo moments, whether it came to the the, the the main actors themselves, the stuff you see in the background, <laughs> the lines in here—it's hilarious. I've seen this movie three times since I first saw it. I can't help but watch. I've shown people this. Movie. You gotta I, watch this. I'm film. with you, man. Yeah. I'm with you. Yeah. I, this is why I love Tyler Perry. I'm yeah. with you. I, yeah. I love. I love every time. Tyler Perry movie comes out. I, you know, listen. I we got so much uh, mileage out of it here. Oh, we still true. to this day. That's true. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, you got look. You, people, I get Chris. He's looking at it from a different perspective. I you, am. Had, you didn't see as many movies as we did. No. You're not, you're not coming from a critic's perspective. No, I'm having kind of, fun. Yeah. yeah you just kind of like, what did I see that I had? A good time. Yeah, that yeah. impact on me that made me laugh or, or something or maybe think about something. Sure, and this sure. shit is hilarious. I, yeah, wish, man, I, I love this. I wish. <laughs> I, I have to be responsible and I can't put this on my list. But, <laughs> no, but I get, I'm glad you could. No, I get, no yeah, you're legit yeah, no, the critics uh, and everything. Uh, I don't give a shit. <laughs> no, I, I'm with you though. I love this movie, man. This movie that's already been on a couple of lists right here. Your number nine is Borat. Yeah, subsequent, uh, movie, film. subsequent movie film. Uh, you know, it did the thing where a lot of comedy sequels fail at, which is it was actually funny. It still had a lot of moments that made me go, I can't believe you just did that. And especially the stuff with Rudy Giuliani. Uh, it's it's politically, yeah, culturally yeah. very relevant. And so, no, it did a good job. And I, I hope Sasha Baron Cohen still has more films like this in him to do because as you guys brought up I have not been a fan of the the the, 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 the dictator, di dictator or yeah. the other one which I was just kind of disgusted by the um, Bruno Bruno, Bruno yeah, which I did not care for yeah. so if he's got a few more of these in him then great let me see here your number eight movie is Chris 
Chris Herman, what do you want? <laughs> <laughs> I want birds of prey, please. <laughs> Why, yes, yes, you can. I'm here to report a terrible crime. Birds of prey. Uh, what I appreciate is that the the filmmakers actually managed to grab the refuse that was uh, Suicide Squad, managed mm. to drag some of the good parts of that movie and made a better film. Uh, and <laughs> I think a super underrated performance uh, from Ewan McGregor's Black Mask. I love how different his take on it was, but it just worked for the film. He was so much fun. And the guy that played Zaz did such a great job. And the movie has issues. He has some issues. I really did not like what they did with uh, uh, Cassandra Cain, the film, but he made something really fun here and, and it worked for the most part. Okay. I did. I like the movie too. Yeah. I like the movie too. It was, I don't think it was a great movie, but I thought it was a really good yeah. movie. No, I, I still like, all, all these in my list I'd give matinees to okay. personally yeah. these are no full prices <clears throat> yeah, but the movies you enjoyed from what you've exactly, seen exactly I phone yeah. it yeah you're not you're not you're not you're not critic stuff mm -hmm. you know you're not doing mm -hmm. critic stuff no, like I'm you. not <laughs> alright then again keeping the surprises going your number seven movie ready to play oh, I can't use that just point and shoot everybody get down <laughs> 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 No, yeah, uh, the hunt, the, that's, that's funny. When I was gathering movies, this 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 is up there. <laughs> I, and, you know, for multiple reasons. Well, I just think it's a really you know well put together action mm. thriller. Betty Giplin is she's one of my favorite working actresses today. Both mm. of them. You see, check her out in Glow. Like this is one scene that sticks out to me when she's slow. She's like Rambo. She's basically female yeah, Rambo. Yeah. And this is the one scene where she goes. Eh, and it's like, what the hell is that for? It's just fun. It's just really fun. But uh, no, it also did a great job of uh, being politically relevant and pissing off the MAGA people. I, I loved it because it did that. Uh, culturally and politically, but it's also just a really well-made thriller. And like it's you said, film. no, it was fun. I thought Betty Gilpin was really good in it. She too. was. She was great. Yeah. What state is this? You're in the glorious state of Arkansas, sweetheart. Is there anything else I can help? Shut your ass <laughs> <ass up. laughs> And it's bloody as all hell, too, so you it want really, oh, yeah. a gory action film. This is the one to go for. And I thought it was cool. You know, this is the, you see some people in here who are doing things like you wouldn't expect them to do these days. Hillary Swank. Yeah. It's just, she's just a psycho bitch today. Yeah, yeah. yeah. She's, that's, a, she's, she's a, a super villain. Yeah, mm -hmm. she's making herself, that's what, she's doing that for herself. She's in a movie just called Fatal. Yeah, mm -hmm. exactly. Where she's playing pretty much the same character right there. Uh, all right, this is something I think a lot of people are going to be like, all right. Yeah, I su I, it surprised even me. Have well, this on my list. I think this next movie, people are going to, uh, people are going to be, uh, they're going to be on board with you on this one. Cool. Your numbers <laughs> haven't been so far. <laughs> no, they have. They have. No, they have. They, 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 no, they thought that they, these are good movies. They're Thanks. fun films. Thanks. Yeah, yeah. But this one, you're not going to get too much blowback from. This is a, uh, this is your number six movie. Hey! Oh shit! <laughs> I'm gonna penetrate this man's soul with my heart. Why do I feel like you're gonna be my Martin Lawrence? <laughs> man, I saw, I, I saw you and Martin. In this no, movie. I don't know what you're talking about. Oh, this is, oh, this is, this is what they were in action. No, for Martin, they, they were cops. Oh, this is great. <laughs> Martin and I even said they were like, damn, man, this is us. It's you two, yeah. <laughs> no, you know, it's funny. I've never been a big fan of the original Bad Boys. I like, I like the first one fine, but two I never really cared for. But this one I was like, oh, wow, I really need this, especially because this was in January. This is when the pandemic was hitting. It, it, it's definitely going down that road as a Fast and mm -hmm. Furious film. That's what they want to do with it. But it was just a blast. The action was also really well choreographed. And what they had their characters doing was believable. Even for Martin Lawrence, he's like, I'm sitting down for most of this. Yeah, yeah. But, yeah. but, it, but he, he, he sold it. He sold it nonetheless. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Th th this, is a, this is a good one because I think this one is not really a matinee movie for you. This is a movie that you agree... I'm sure you would agree it's like actually very good yeah. it's probably a full price film it's like a low full price for me it's yeah. a low full price and this is something that a lot of people probably have not seen which Chris is trying to get me to watch he's telling everybody you gotta see for this for entire movie. year I have yeah, but, uh, yeah I, know. I know man I got a lot of stuff to watch. I, know, I know but maybe with you putting this on your list and this would be the same way with some of you out there maybe this will get you to watch look at this all those years in the big city we finally got out what? <laughs> hey, what is this? Uh, oh, you'll see. Yeah, yeah, keep playing. The dream. Maybe. Oh, 
Dog's like, like hey, dog. There's some crazy shit about to happen, hey, man. You, you got a dog know. just staring at you. That's like, oh, That's shit bad. right there. Mm-hmm. Chris, what movie is this? This is uh, Color Out of Space, and it's okay. an adaptation of H.P. Lovecraft's original novella. A family who's, you know, since moved from the big city out into the country. and bad they sign. And they, yep, always bad. <laughs> and they encounter a, a meteor that lands on the property and starts to do weird things to them. Degree. So if you like something like John Carpenter's The Thing or David Cronenberg's The Fly, King. yeah, oh yeah, it just elements of that. It's basically a family falling apart at the seams, literally. The skin okay. seams. That oh, <laughs> is what I mean. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Well, guess what? I, I knew. Yeah, you you guys would disagree with this one. I, you know what? Probably not. not probably not as much mm-hmm. as you as you think. Yeah. I like I, this movie more I, than most people. I, 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 yeah, you, you do. I ain't gonna lie. You do like this movie more than me. But I do have a deep appreciation for this movie. That's just a nice way of saying you're full of shit. <laughs> he said that I could never leave him. <laughs> the dogs are always snitches. Yeah, they, they really are. Of course, uh, if you, if you, if you know any of this dialogue, or if you like, you've seen the trailer. Have you seen the trailer? Are you like the movie? Then you know what this is. He said that wherever I went, he would find me. Invisible Man. Yeah, what I liked about this is because it had took such a minimalist approach. Mm-hmm. Unlike something like the Tom Cruise Mummy, where it's hey, let's turn this literally into the Monster Mash Avengers. They're like, no, let's give this to Blumhouse. Let's keep it simple. And what you do with the Invisible Man was great, where you have this similar to whether it be H.G. Wells' original novel or the various adaptations, where you have this guy. He has his major invention, but because he's such a psychopath, the one thing that he's obsessed about, the one thing he needs, is just this woman, his wife. I just love the premise. It was such a really cool thriller. Well, the thing is, I've seen this pop up on a lot of people's uh, mm-hmm. best of lists. Mm-hmm. Matter of fact, I remember when it came out, there were people who was like, "This is this is going to be the best movie of the year," and I was like, "Well, it's early." And of course, with the pandemic, there's so few movies that come out yeah. came out, and a lot of people are still putting this in their top ten. I, I, I like the approach that they took. Me too. Yeah, yeah same here. I, I, I like the approach. It it, it didn't uh, enough of it didn't work for me, but I like Corey says I appreciate it. Gotcha. Another. Crossover right here. Overlap. Overlap. Your number three movie. <laughs> quirks and interest before they go to. No oh, shit, though. That's there. weird, Herman. I thought you hated this movie. I know. I'm like, it's okay. Yeah, that's fine. Mm-hmm. It's alright. Yeah, he's not like, the best animated film this year, but uh. he like, he like the, he like, I don't know. Yeah, he like the blue and white parts. Yeah, yeah, you know the parts. I really identify. You know, they, with. No, <laughs> and, and the Negro off screen. It was great. <laughs> like, like, like you guys brought up before. I think it's. Uh, a, a extremely well crafted film. Uh, it does a great job of, of showcasing black culture, but also not just being about black culture. Mm-hmm. It's like that's not that's not really the focus of uh, of the film yeah. itself. It's really about the, this individual, these two individuals having you know this 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 crisis in their this, this their, their lives and, and working through it together. And I really loved it for that. But you know, it was it was just a really unique experience, and I and I liked what Pixar was able to craft. This didn't make my list. It actually made my honorable mention, but I'm glad that it did make someone's list. The woods are getting smaller every day. Put an end to this. Wolf Walker, which yeah. is really one of my favorite movies of the year to make my top 10. Same here. I wish I thought to put it on. <sighs> yeah, on I love this movie, though. I'm glad you put it in your list. Absolutely stunning film. Even made me a little wilder. I, as, as, as I said before, you know, th- there's a degree of nostalgia that plays into it where I grew up during the 90s and the Disney Renaissance era and all those films meant so much to me. And it comes the voice acting, the, the music, whether it be the, you know, the orchestral stuff or even mm. the songs. Like, I'm sorry, but I, I've been playing that song all the time now. And, but Yeah, exactly. And, then, and even just the, the uniqueness of the of the backgrounds really stuck out to me. Like it seriously reminded me of all these like medieval paintings I've seen in museum. It's like I can't really think of an animated film that 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 did that. And this one just really stood out for that. It was it, even though it was familiar, it was also very unique. And I it, I highly recommend people checking out this animated film. It's beautiful. At number one, Chris has. Do the same. We can press reset. Man, it was like it's like living my life. <laughs> Listen, you know what this meant to me? Like you guys had Black Panther, right? But you know, I we, I had the middle-aged chubby white man 
and I get to live through Russell Crowe, who is just getting full of rage. This is what I'm talking about. This is what I'm This is my Joker. This is yeah, my Joker. That's, that's it, year. man. You know, this movie spoke to him. Yeah, you don't know. Mr. Crowe, look at this. A lot of similarities there, man. Look, see, how many times do I give him that look to Corey? No, he set me up. <laughs> <laughs> Same look. <laughs> All right, I got <laughs> Bro Braids, Alex yeah. Jones. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> it's like Russell Crowe. We're on the same wavelength there, man. Oh. We've had those days. He just he just took the extra step. Yeah, you know, like identify uh, people. Uh, you know what? I got some people believing it. No. <laughs> Okay, you had me. I was like, no, no, come on. I love it. Yeah. I leaned into. I leaned into it. Thank you for going yeah. along with it. Of course, man. Yeah. <laughs> People thought on hint. They thought you wanted hint. <laughs> I could have made a case for that. We could. We should just kept going. Like, that. I know. It's my top. It's my top ten. <laughs> Number one. <laughs> so what Chris picked. <laughs> we would. Hear, we, we would hear that for the next week, man. Yeah. <laughs> oh no! Here's a real number one right here. Bobby Seale. These defendants had a plan, and the plan was to incite a riot. I call this portion of the trial with friends like these. Uh, we talked about this earlier. Trial of the Chicago Seven. Yeah, it's it it does what I what I love most from Aaron Sorkin is just do so much with dialogue. Mm-hmm. You could just literally entertain me by having two people just sit down, talk to each other, or a bunch of people talk to each other in this case and argue back and forth. Yeah, I mean, what can be said? I mean, yeah, it 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 it's going back and forth between that line of this is actual fact or is this dramatized? And it's like <laughs> at the end of the day, I was I was just really really entertained. It's 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 a it's it's a great film and featuring a number of great performances, which will, I'm assuming many of them will be nominated for various uh, awards. Yeah. yeah. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm What's just, up? This is the people laugh at on the edge. Oh, okay. The edge. They're just losing their minds still. Okay. Because <laughs> <laughs> we had them. We had them for a while. <laughs> I was thinking about playing this. What you talking about? This is a great yeah. movie. <laughs> just oh, over, geez. over. Like, oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> this is the movie that saved cinema. <laughs> it, it did. It did. It said so. <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> Mark was like, what? <laughs> <laughs> Especially after you guys, so you know, Chris, you know, we respect your list. It was so different. <laughs> but that was somebody like, all right, fuck that. Fuck everything we said. What <laughs> about the chest? Like, Corey, you and Chris are wrong, man. <laughs> I have to break you two up. Oh, Lord. <laughs> mm. <laughs> so I think some people in the chat are like, yes! I knew it, yes! <laughs> oh, jeez. Oh, oh, <laughs> oh. No, that was too good. That was good. Folks, there you go. Our okay, favorite. so we all like Trial of Chicago 7 and Soul. Yes, we, and Soul. Yes. yes, we did. Yes, we did. 